Good day, students. I am Mrs. Jai Semiadepeju, your economics teacher. I shall be taking you through national income. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to, one, define national income. Two, explain various concepts of national income. Three, explain methods of calculating national income. Four, mention the uses of national income statistics. Five, state the problems of calculating national income. What is national income? National income is the monetary value of the total volume of production of goods and services in a country in a given year. It is also the total expenses on goods and services by all the various sectors of the economy in a year. It is also defined as the total income in form of wages, interest, profit, and rent accruing to a nation from productive activities in a year. Concept of national income. Number one, gross domestic product, GDP. This is the total monetary value of goods and services produced in an economy during a given period of time without taking into consideration whether or not the output is produced by citizens or foreigners. It is a major tool for measuring the rate of economic growth. Number two, gross national product, GNP. This is the total value of goods and services produced in an economy during a given year, plus net income from abroad. It is expressed as GNP is equal to GDP plus net income of nationals from abroad minus output of foreigners. Number three, net national income, NNP. This is the net monetary value of goods and services produced in a country during a given year. It is expressed as NNP is equal to GDP minus depreciation. Number four, personal income. This is the total income received by the individuals of a country from all sources before direct taxes are deducted in a year. Five, disposable income. This is the actual income which can be spent on consumption by individuals and families after tax has been deducted. Number six, per capita income. This is the average income that accrues to citizens of a country during a particular year. It helps to determine the average income and standard of living of the people. It can also be used as basis of international comparison of standard of living among countries. It is expressed as per capita income is equal to gross national product divided by population. Number seven, real income. This is national income expressed in terms of general level of prices with price level of a particular year taken as base. Number eight, net national product at factor prices. This is the total output evaluated at factor prices. It refers to income earned by factors of production. Thank you for listening. When we come back after this short break, we shall consider methods of calculating national income.
stay tuned welcome back let us look at methods of measuring national income there are three major approaches or methods to calculate national income one output method two income method three expenditure method one output method this is a total monetary value of goods and services produced in a country in a year it includes the market value of products produced in agriculture forestry fishery manufacturing mining construction and services to prevent double counting value added basis is used value added means differences between the value of market output and input at each stage of production mathematically output method can be expressed as output method is equal to agriculture plus petroleum plus mining plus construction plus manufacturing plus services number 2 income method this is a sum total of the income held by all factors of production used in the production of goods and services in a year it is a sum of wages rent interest and profit less transfer payment mathematically income method can be expressed as income method is equal to wages or salary plus rent plus profit plus interest minus transfer payment number 3 expenditure method this is the total sum of all expenditure incurred on goods and services during a year in a country it is by adding the expenses of various sectors of the economy consumption by household investment by firms and government spending mathematically it can be expressed as ni is equal to c plus i plus g plus bracket open x minus m bracket close plus subsidies minus taxes minus depreciation where ni is national income c is private consumption expenditure i is private investment expenditure g is government expenditure x is export and m is import uses of national income statistics the following are the reasons for measuring the national income of a country one it serves as basis for economic planning national income statistics are the most important tools for long term and short planning a country cannot possibly frame a plan without having prior knowledge of the trends of national income number 2 to know the standard of living of citizens the size of national income determines the well-being of the people the larger the size of the national income the more the welfare of the people it can also help us to compare the standard of people living in different country 3 for estimating per capita income national income data are significant for a country's per capita income which reflects the economic welfare of the country the higher the per capita income the higher the economic welfare and the lower the per capita income the lower the economic 
welfare of the people. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the last stage of this class. We shall continue with the uses of national income statistics. Number four, to ascertain income distribution. From the data pertaining to wages, rent, interest, and profit, we learn the disparities in the income of different sectors of the society. Number five, to show sectorial contribution. Data obtained from national income provides information on the contribution of every sector to the national output. It is also useful for sectorial comparison. Number six, for research purposes. Data provided by national income estimates are used for research purposes. Professionals, scholars, and economists make use of the, of the data to carry out research. Number seven, it serves as guides to investors. National income estimates is a veritable instrument by which foreign investors can be attracted to a country. The investor will have the opportunity of assessing each sector to be able to determine area of investment. Problems of calculating national income. The following are the problems encountered in measuring national income. Number one, double counting. This is a major problem in calculating national income. How to differentiate between intermediate and final product is a problem. For example, if the value of sugar and sugar cane are counted separately, the value of sugar cane utilized in the manufacturing of sugar will be counted twice, which is not proper. This must be avoided for correct measurement of national income. Number two, difficulty of expenditure method. The application of expenditure method in the calculation of national income has become a very difficult task because it is difficult to estimate personal and investment expenditure. Number three, accounting for depreciation. Calculation of depreciation on capital consumption presents another problem. There is no accepted standard rate of depreciation applicable to various machines. Number four, lack of availability of adequate data. Adequate and correct production and cost data are not available in our country. For estimating national income, data on on-hand incomes and persons employed in the services are not available. Data on consumption and investment expenditure of the rural and urban population are not available for the estimation of national income. Number five, illegal transaction. Illegal transactions are very difficult to estimate. Income derived from all illegal activities, such as prostitution and gambling, are not easily determined. Number six, problems of unpaid services. The services of housewives and house elves are not easy to compute in monetary value. Others include people doing jobs for themselves. With this, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Till I come your way next time, revise everything you have learned on national income today and answer these questions. Number one, explain the uses of national income figure. Number two, explain the following national income concept. A, gross domestic product. B, gross national product. C, personal income. D, disposable income. Number three, state three methods for calculating national income. And lastly, number four, identify the likely problems that can be encountered in the compilation of national income accounts in Nigeria. Thank you.